it's always impressive to see a politician take an unbending stand on principle. So I salute George W. for going against popular opinion by vetoing the S-CHIP bill. It would have extended health coverage to some six million uninsured children in our country. Bush said that what irked him about this health proposal is the principle of providing government finance coverage, which he derided as federalized medicine. George, you see, is a die-hard privatization ideologue, and he insists that people should get their health care from the free market, not the government. The vast majority of his Republican colleagues in Congress agreed, voting to uphold his veto of the children's bill. This news prompted Allen, one of our stalwart viewers in Fort Collins, Colorado, to suggest a national campaign in support of this principled stand that the Republicans in Washington have taken. Since Bush and his Republican allies don't believe in federalized medicine, Allen said it's our duty to free them of the burden of having their own health coverage pay for by us taxpayers. As a matter of principle, we must take away their government health plans and let them buy their own in the free market. This idea offers two pluses. One, taxpayers will no longer have to pay benefits to politicians who are ideologically opposed to them. And two, the money saved can be redirected to the millions of American children without health coverage. This is Jim Hightower saying, if Allen's idea appeals to you, call the Republican Congressional Conference and urge that its members give up their federalized health plans. 202-225-5107. And while you're at it, tell them to forego their socialized government retirement money, too. After all, it's the principle of the thing.